Hello, Paul Hamilton here from UTV. I've been a user of Vectory um, on my Mac for some time now to create 3D and, and create textures on 3D shapes and so forth. And they've recently done a really major update that allows us to actually use it on iPad. It's not perfect yet, but I want to show you through some of the capabilities with using Vectory on iPad. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up Safari. So this all works within a browser. So we're going to open up Safari. As I said before, it's still not there perfect, but we can create some basic shapes. So I'm going to go to Safari and just show you how to access. So I'm going to type in at the top vectory.com and we'll go there. By the way, I've got a pro account. So teachers hit them up for pro accounts and see if you can manage to get one. Um, so some of the things here I'm showing with the pro account. So I'm in Vectory. I'm already logged in. Um, so I'm going to start creating from scratch and show you some of the, the interface and how you can create just a really quick textured uh, 3D sphere. We're going to make a bubble, a transparent bubble today and export it as a USDZ file. Uh, yep, little warning there. So I'm going to close that. And you can see here I'm in a 3D space. I'm just going to use my finger and just kind of navigate along. I'm going to go up to my shapes and just create a basic sphere. So I'll just click on it once. And up the sphere comes, and you can see on the right-hand side on the object and the properties panel here, I can change the shape. I can drag my different X, Y, and Z axes by um, dragging the arrows, and I can change some of the, the basics with it. So it's actually a 3D modeling tool, so I can do quite a lot with it. So I'll just change that to 32. You can see here I've got my materials. I can change the roughness, the textures, um, the ambience, and a whole range of things. But what I'm going to do is go up to the library and go to my materials here and type in glass. Let's make a, a transparent glass sphere today or a bubble. So I'm gonna type in glass. I'm gonna select this bottom right one here. And then after I've selected that, it will apply the texture. And then on the right hand side here, I can change things like the roughness, um, the uh, opac opacity, uh, the, the color palette here. So I'm going to make like a light blue color and I'm going to make the opacity um, quite low so that we can see through it. So you can see how easy it is to actually create. I've got this beautiful blue bubble now. Um, I've created it. I've applied a texture to it and I can do it a lot more with it here. I can change backgrounds and give it a basic look, um, but I'm not going to worry about that because I'm going to export the bubble itself and bring it into Reality Composer. So I'll change that back to white and I'll show you the export. Now, this is once again with a pro account. So hit them up and see if teachers, you can get some pro accounts. So once again, you can have a look at all the different textures. Beautiful. We've got metals. We've got wood. Uh, we've got beautiful glowing gradients. We've got a range of different things here. We've also got a whole range of assets, um, a gallery of 3D models that Vectory has as well. Um, you can see there's some of the collections that we've got um, down the left-hand side. But I'm going to go to File and Export. And you can see here I've got OBJ. I'm going to change that to USDZ. This is on a pro account, so hit them up for it. Um, I'm going to go to USDZ or USDZ, as uh, most people say, I'm going to export. Now, it doesn't download straight away. There's a little bit of a trick to this. You can see that the QR code comes up. I'm going to hold my finger down on that QR code and download that direct file so I can get the bubble as a direct file. So I'm going to hold my finger down on it, and I'm going to go to this open in a web browser. What that'll do is it'll open up Safari, and it'll download that USDZ file for me. See? Um, so I'm going to go download top right hand corner in my Safari downloads. That's going to download beautifully. There it is there. And it's always been really difficult to do this on iPad, but now I've got this beautiful textured opacity blue kind of bubble here that looks really, really good in regard to texture. So I'm going to, oh, actually I might save that file. So I'll go up to my sharing and save that to my files. And I might call that uh, bubble. I love that I can create this on iPad now that I don't have to jump between Mac and iPad, which is one of the benefits. I'm going to get a save. And the beauty about that now is I can quickly whip up any object that I want as a creator. And I'm going to open up Reality Composer, which is our favorite augmented reality prototyping app for iPad and free. I'll create a little horizontal project here. I'll go up to my plus and add my content. I'll go to imported. It'll go to my files. Now, if this doesn't work, just hit your browse and go to on my iPad. Little trick there if it doesn't come up. And I should see my bubble. There it is there. 
And now I've got this beautiful bubble that I can animate, I can apply behaviors, I can scale up, I can apply um, some physics to it if I would like to. Um, I'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see. And the beauty about this is I can start to bring in other shapes and actually start to integrate and combine them with storytelling. So if I bring in a little tree, for example, I've now got this transparent bubble that I've got the tree that I can see through. So Reality Composer is a composition app. It's not a 3D modeling tool. So people are looking for good solutions. There's Tinkercad, there's Shaper, there's a whole range of different things. Um, I thought I'd show you Vectory because it's one of those tools that I love and I can kind of whip up different uh, textures and objects really, really quickly. They can be simple shapes like this one or they can be quite complex as well. So we absolutely love that Vectory is now kind of compatible with iPad. There's still bugs in it. It's still not as um, a, a beautiful, fluid user experience, but you can see it's keeping it all in the same place. I can log in. It's going to save all of my documents there um, and I can share. It's also got some web AR and some other really cool features. And you can see here, I use most of my uh, truffle trees and all my creation tools I use Vectory for. Paul Hamilton here from Using Technology Better.